Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Let me see. I think this is better. Okay, just trying to set up my camera. Okay, I think I'm good this way. Now looking you up. Oh my. <laughs> On the Facebook page where I can meet you. So let me put this aside. Welcome, welcome. If there are any people watching already, I'm trying to connect with you. Yes, I think we're here. Turn down the sound of the iPad. Hi, welcome everyone. <laughs> and now I don't see the comments. Yes, we're here. Hi, good to see you everyone. Hi Kyla, Jona, Michelle, Anne, hi Marielle, Mirelle, sorry, Mireille, <laughs> ik zeg het verkeerd. Yolanda, Penny, Patricia, Belinda, hi, good to see you, Patricia. Hello, hello. It's Monday again. I'm um yeah, I'm covering for Els again today. Um I think she's in Canada at the moment uh, with her daughter so I'm here to entertain you tonight <laughs> um, instead of tomorrow evening so um, tomorrow afternoon it depends on where you are over here it's 8 uh, p.m. it's getting dark already so uh, summer is slowly moving away turning into winter or fall first of course so but good to see you all uh, Elizabeth, hi, Anya, uh, Anya is also there to help us if anything, um, well, if you have any questions. Hi, Yona, Carla, good to see you. <laughs> uh, and forgive me if I don't see all your comments because um, I'm trying to watch at the screen, but the comments are always disappearing somehow and I don't know how to fix that. So, um, well, should I give it one more try? Maybe if I turn the iPad uh, well, uh, in, how do you call it? The portrait position. Yes, now I'm good. Hi Femke, hi Natasha, Honora, good to see you. Hi Debbie, welcome, welcome. Okay, um, well, let's get started. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, embossing with our stencils. And I know it's not new, but uh, the other day, David opened my eyes. David, thank you, um, because he was uh, embossing with stencils and he applied some of those, um, how do you call that? The, the, the flakes, the, the gold and silver flaky things, like fake gold, fake silver, and he was putting that on the embossed parts and it really, really looked very pretty. Hi, Diane. Hi, Angelique. So, um... Hi Inge, good to see you too. So what I did, um, I made some samples yesterday uh, and I'm going to show it to you. Then I'm going to do um, one more uh, together with you so you can see how I did it. And um, then I'm going to work in my planner also with some embossed uh, papers. So gold flakes. Thank you, David. Good to see you're here too. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think I've been living under a rock or something with uh, the embossing thing with um, stencils. Uh, I know somewhere in the deep uh, grey uh, part of my brains that I've seen it before, but um, well, David opened my eyes again, so now I think it's really fun to use them for embossing. Uh, and you don't need uh, embossing folders if you already have stencils. And uh, let me see uh, what, what is the best thing to show to you. Yes, of course. Now, I'm going to show you what I've done with the stencils. Well, this is one. <laughs> and I used um, the decorative paper. This side you don't see anything, of course. But on this side, it's very pretty, I think. Then I did this one. And over this one, I added some um, embossing powder. And then I made it a little bit uh, less shiny by using some uh, archival ink on top. Over here is one with just some inks. Then this one is also decorative paper, design paper. And here you can see the difference if you use the 
positive side of the die or the, the stencil and the negative side. So it's a completely different uh, effect what you get with uh, a stencil. This one I also used embossing powder. This is ink only and this is also ink only. So, um, well, I'm going to show you how you can do it. I hope you haven't seen it um, <laughs> very often. So for me, it is quite new. So I hope you like it too. So my plan is, yes, I did have a plan. And now I'm thinking, where did I put it? Yes, of course, in my journal with the stencils. And I already took out a piece of paper, which I wanted to do tonight because I did a little one with this uh, yesterday. And I liked it very much. So this is the decorative paper, the design paper. I think this one is from book one or two. I'm not sure. So I found one more sheet. So I'm going to turn this one into this. So um, I am going to put this aside. Oh. Uh, shall I use this stencil? Yes, that will give the same effect as this one. So yes, I'm going to do that. Putting this aside. Let me see. Oh, really? You have to use the stencils, and e uh, it's even more pretty um, with uh, embossing. But the thing you need to know is, you need um, a, a rubber plate or mat to do so. So I bought this one from uh, Spellbinders. And here you have the base plate and one of the extra ones. And it's all because of this uh, flimsy uh, piece of rubber, uh, which is uh, allowing you to emboss. And then you have a solid plate on top of it again. So what I'm going to do first is um, spray the paper. Uh, and I am thinking, it also depends on what you want to see on top. So if you want um, the positive side on the one side and you want the negative side on the other one, it depends on how you put your uh, stencil on top of it. So now I have to think too, because let me see, this is pressing it down. Yes, I want the, um, the honeybee thingies <laughs> to show on the top. So I'm going to put this one on top of uh, my paper and then I'm turning it around in, the, in a moment, but I need to, uh, I touch the both of them together and first, sorry, I have to spray this one. Uh, if you spray it, the paper will be a little bit more flexible, so it's giving uh, a much better impression. And if you don't believe me, because I forgot a few times, of course, um, I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but one is without uh, spraying water and the other one is with spraying water. So can you see the difference? I can, but I'm not sure if it's visible on camera. I'm going to keep it a little bit closer. Yeah, and I think you can see it because this one I forgot to spray water and this one I did spray. So you can see this is much uh, more relief, relief, a real little, little, little. <laughs> I think you can see the difference. So the more effect you will have uh, when you spray a little bit of water on your paper before embossing. So um, I'm going to spray not in front of the camera. <laughs> okay. And then I'm um, lining out, lining out, yes, uh, the holes of the stencil because otherwise you see the holes in a different place. And um, it's best if you cut a page or any other shape you want to emboss um, before you are going to uh, emboss it. So die cut first and then emboss. Okay, let me see if I can... Oh, no, I'm going to use the one from my hand. I'm sorry. Last week someone told me to do this, so it's not that sticky. Okay. Line it out a little bit better, okay. To make sure it stays at the right place. Put it on your plate like this. So the stencil first, then the paper on top, the flexible rubber mat, and then the solid one on top of it. I'm going to run it through my uh, machine twice. So it takes a little while, one moment please.
Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's really looking really cool already. I'm trying to get the tape off carefully. Oh, it didn't succeed. <laughs> so my skin is not uh, greasy enough, I think. Okay, but that's the back side of the paper. I don't mind for this one. Putting these aside. Okay, and now I think you hardly see it, but I'm going to dry it a little bit because I want to work with ink now. Let me see if I can fix this, yes. <laughs> and I'm trying to read your comments. Uh, let me see. Hi everyone, hi Sylvia, hi Summer, Kay, good to see you all, Gaby, Kobe, sorry. Just drying this a little bit. Sorry about the damaging the paper on the back side. <laughs> oh, my clothes. Yes, Tracy, that's a good idea too. Better than my skin, probably. <laughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Mary. Good to see you. Okay, I think it's dry now. Okay, and now what you can do. I played a lot with this yesterday and I was trying to uh, get the most pretty way for coloring it. Uh, I tried different things, so uh, of course you can use um, your stamping ink like this and rub on top of the debossed part, embossed parts, uh, then it will give you uh, quite a solid uh, impression like this. But I think this was the the distress oxides. Uh, then I did this with uh, a blending tool. I like that too. I also used a brayer, and that was uh, quite cool too. Um, I also used. <laughs> I wasn't. Uh, trying to uh, use the, um, the embossing, uh, how do you call this stuff? Embossing dabber, embossing glue or whatever it's called. I put this down on um, my jelly, I will show it to you, on a jelly block, jelly, um, jelly plate, a small one. I put it down and then with a brayer, I, then you, you get an even, um, it's going to be divided evenly. If you are running it, uh, applying it like this, it's really uh, a lot of um, versa mark or what's it called? Um, yeah, versa mark uh, immediately. And when you use um, a brayer, it's much thinner and you, you get a, a really pretty effect. And that's what I did over here too. So I used the brayer to apply the embossing stuff. <laughs> Sorry for uh, giving me, forgive me if I don't know the name. So uh, if you want to try this, just play around. Try to use it with uh, a blending tool. Try to use it um, to apply it with a brayer um, directly with your ink pad. So there are all kinds of possibility and it all depends on what you like most um, yourself. So I am going to show you. Let me see. Shall I show you one with a brayer and one with um, a blending tool? Yes, I am going to do that. I'm going to save this one for now. I'm going to show you this one first. And I will do that with a brayer so you can see what that looks like. I need to take this off so it stays in place. And I'm going to use the most pretty one with the deepest um, impression. Yes, to spread it more evenly. Hi, Geesje. Nice to see you too. I think I will use the, the new um, or the latest Distress Ink from Tim again. Just applying it on my um, jelly plate. And then I'm trying to spread it. And then really slightly roll over the paper. And you see it coming 
a little bit, not completely, but you have to do this a few times. But it's a really subtle effect. And if you go in with the pad itself, immediately it's blue, it's blue everywhere. And now it only a little bit ink. If you want a little bit more, just give it a little spray with uh, some water. So it, it's going to be a little bit thinner. But um, yeah. The idea is to spread it as even if you can. And I think I am going to put a piece of paper underneath. Otherwise the complete craft knot will be blue. And then you can see the color um, starts building. Building itself. And getting a little bit darker. I think I'm going to do it one more time. And I have no idea if some other people already have been showing these things online. I'm sure they will. I didn't invent the wheel, but I'm just having fun doing this. And you see how nice it is um, to do things like this. So this is one technique. Um, yeah, with a brayer and a stencil, some ink, and uh, just giving it a try and see what you like. I think this is one of my favorites so far. Okay. You see how, how much ink is still left on the, on the jelly block. Trying to clean this one for now. Oh, and when you um, are going to use your stencils for embossing, um, if they are not clean, um, probably the, the, the leftovers of the ink or the paint on your stencils will also give an impression on your paper. So um, if you like that, then you are okay. Uh, if not, then you have to use clean stencils or clean them before you are going to use them. So this is one. I'm going to put this one aside. And now I'm going into this one. And for this one, I am going to use, I think, peeled paint is what I did yesterday. Looking for my green dauber now. That's over here. Going to close down the blue. Oh, a jelly thingy. Yes, I've got a lot of jelly thingies and <laughs> jelly plates. Um, but I couldn't find the larger ones. I only found the smaller ones. So um, that's why I took this one. Um, with the green, I would love to fill up a little bit more of the, the beige uh, parts of this sheet of paper. So I'm really slowly and very softly going over the paper, turning a little bit into circles. And you see the magic is already happening. I hope you can see it too. I see my head is in front of the camera. I will <laughs> keep it a little bit closer so you can see it uh, a little bit better, I think. Is Els also here? <laughs> Oh yes, you can see it. <laughs> so, and you, of course, you can go in as many times uh, as you like, but really um, hardly touching the paper. If you want a, a different effect, of course you can push harder, but for me it's just, um, yeah, the idea to fill in the colors a little bit in between uh, the flowers which are already there on the paper. And if you make it too dark, uh, I think that you don't see the, the, the typed text in between anymore. But that's all up to you. That's really also personal on how you are, um, yeah, what kind of end result you would like to see. I'm just really slightly, hardly touching the paper and uh, making circles. So that's it. And then you have a lovely um, page than it was before. I mean, the paper is already pretty, of course, <coughs> if I may say so. But um, well, this is giving it uh, a little bit extra. So um, I wanted to show it to you. Here's the other green, a little bit darker. Here's a light one. And where is my other little thingy? Oh, yes, 
it was over here so i'm going to save this of course i'm not going to use it today in my planner because i'm still into the red white and blue but i thought this was really pretty um for the back side this is of course now really dark but i'm going to show you what you can do with uh, an ink pad and i'm going to use the back side now because it's already damaged <laughs> and i i'm going to glue another page um to the back side oh annette thank you it's cool isn't it and you don't need to use that many products if you have some ink and your stencils uh, you are fine okay i'm turning it around uh, and I'm showing to, sh to you uh, what it looks like when you are rubbing um, with an iPad or you can also make forward, uh, forth and back um, lines but you can see the difference and it's really quick <laughs> so this is a completely different look but it's very easy to do and it's also fun Cool, isn't it? <laughs> but um, when you have a really new um, uh, ink pad, then there's probably too much ink on it. Don't rub with your iPad. No, 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 I'm not going to rub with my iPad. <laughs> I can give it a try, uh, David. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for now. And then, of course, it's even more pretty, I think, when you are making... Um, uh, the borders, the, 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 the edges, uh, a little bit brown or something. Ye yellow might be fun too, because there's a little bit yellow um, in the paper. But for now, I think I will do a little bit um, brushed corduroy. Today it's brushed corduroy and not my favorite, um, what's the other name again? Freight Burlap. <laughs> I am going to use this one for now. Oh. Trying to read your comments. <laughs> and when you are doing the edges, it really finishes your uh, paper. Sometimes I forget and then I think, oh, I missed something. And then, yes, of course, the edges. Just a little bit. <laughs> And then I think you have a beautiful page um, to start working on. Okay, so that was my tip for today. Uh, try to um, emboss with your stencils. And yeah, just play around with them. Try different uh, media to apply in it, like um, embossing powders inks uh, whatever you've got color maybe um the other uh, tim holtz things <laughs> what's, what's their name the the ones with paint but personal for me this is uh, one of my favorite techniques just some ink and um the file for, uh, the file folders <laughs> talking about file folders this afternoon so <laughs> now i'm getting confused um the stencils okay so I hope you liked it and now I am going to work in my journal and for that I also prepared a page. Um, let me see, I'm going to put this aside. Do I need this one? No. This one can go back too. And um, okay, for those of you not living in Europe, uh, the Queen of England died last week. And I saw a lot of people already uh, making pages about that. And uh, maybe you know that I also like to keep track of important things happening around the world. Uh, that's things, that kind of things I also like to uh, document. So I was thinking, okay, I'm going to um, make a page about the Queen too. So um, here's what I did. The same technique, but now uh, on a full size uh, page again. And I made one extra because um, when I'm working... Uh, in a journal when I've got only one piece of paper on this side I would love to have the same design or at least a little piece of the same design on the other side of the paper so that's what I'm going to use I printed two pictures of the Queen and I'm not sure if I am going to use both of them or maybe one of them and then I was thinking okay I need to have a Union Jack you know the flag 
where do I get one? And I was digging into my uh, stash and then I found this one. And it's an old Sizzix die. Let me show it to you. And I wish I had it somewhere. I'm not sure if it's Tim Holtz. It's probably not because it doesn't say Tim Holtz um, on the die. But it's this one. It's uh, one of the big, big Z dies. So, uh, well, I haven't used it a lot because it's really something um, I bought for one time use. And now it comes in uh, handy again because of the Queen. So, it's not ECD, it is uh, a Sizzix die, just for your information. <laughs> okay, now I need to have a little drink. And yes, Sue, of course. <laughs> oh, you are thankful that I'm making a page about her. Yes, I mean, being a queen for 70 years, that's amazing, I think. Even if you don't like queens and kings and all the things going around there, I think it's worth uh, making a, a page about her. So if you don't like that, just pretend that it's somebody else's grandmother or something. Okay. Um, okay, so for sure I wanted to use the Union Jack. I need to use one or two pictures and I want to use this. So that's it for, for now from <laughs> what I have been thinking before. Oh, and I cut some letters. And I found this old plate from Yosette. It's also Elizabeth Craft design, so if you've got it, it's really a nice one to use. Uh, but it's no longer available anymore. But I like the size of those numbers uh, for this uh, page, so that's why I used those for. And you see, I like to use old stuff too. Uh, okay, so my plan. A flag and some of this paper. So I need to trim this down to cover it. A full page but I want to leave a little bit of blue um, behind it so I'm going to take a ruler for this one I'm not uh, measuring quite often but for now I think I need to uh, it's about 10 by 21 or something hmm yeah I'm going to do that putting it aside for a moment all those notes over here in my messy workspace. <laughs> oh yes, uh, else good of you. The 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 numbers. Uh, if you are joining um, the workshop from Annette, which is going to be on October fifteenth, uh, online, and in this set there are numbers. That's correct. Thank you, else for reminding me. Okay, I, I'm even going to keep this, this, these little parts for now. What did I say? 10 centimeters. Yes, 10, 10, somewhere around 10. It's not really precise. So are there many of you who are joining um, Annette's workshop? And I see Debbie is having problems with the comments. Debbie, you can't read them or what's going on? I think I see a lot of comments and I forgot <laughs> the size. I think it was 20, 20 and a half. I don't know. Uh, I'm making it 20 and a half and I can trim something off if, if it's still too long. Oh yes, Lisa, David, Carla. Oh cool. I'm going to join too. So I'm going to make it a little bit shorter because there's more blue on the sides then at the top and the bottom so i want to be that a little bit more um, even let me see hmm. yeah i think i'm fine with that oh a lot of you are joining how cool i can't wait to see what she has been um, making it, it really looks uh, very pretty already <laughs> Christine is also joining. Okay, this dress ink again. And it's brushed corduroy this time again. It almost feels like I'm cheating. Moving from fried burlap to brushed corduroy. <laughs> Sylvia, Lisbeth, oh, you're all joining. That's so nice. Angelique too. Oh, Marie Claire, good to see you too there. <laughs> Andrea, 
Oh, you can't join the lives. I'm trying to. <laughs> Jacqueline, where are you from? Jacqueline, your name sounds um, French. Where, are you from France or Canada? Oh, but you can watch the, the videos back later. So if you're not there, uh, enjoy join uh, Annette live. You can also go later. Watch it later. Oh, I think I used Fred Burlap on this one. Now I need to do a brush corduroy here too. <laughs> Just really quickly. <laughs> Unit also has problematic. <laughs> the comments are very slow. Okay. Oh, Femke, that's really nice. <laughs> you will love it. There's always something... To learn oh Anya that's really nice <laughs> your holiday starts at doing and you end with the online workshop so you have a complete uh, Elizabeth craft designs holiday oh Annette yes there are a lot of people are joining that's really cool are you getting nervous already Annette no I'm sure you're not um, oh, I have to confess something. You know the page I did last week? <clears throat> it's not finished yet. I didn't do anything. You see? So, forgive me. I'm going to show it to you when it's finished. Now moving on to this one. Uh, so, I have to take this out. I think I will do one page with uh, Queen Elizabeth <laughs> and not two, but we'll see how it goes. I think I want that one here. And I, oh, it all comes pretty good together. I think this is nice already. Okay, but which picture? Do I take the younger queen or the older queen? I like both of them. And I was thinking, okay, I'm going to use them both, one on top of each other. But then you don't see the flag at all. Hmm. I'm just cutting him in half anyway, so... I like to keep a white border around the pictures. Uh, it gives me the idea as a, a mat. And if I'm trimming off all the white, then I have to use a mat, an extra mat. So that's what I mostly try to leave. Oh, this is pretty. It's also pretty. Uh, for the ladies uh, in England, you are still here, like uh, Tracy and Honora. Was she really that small? I saw uh, our king uh, visiting her and he was kissing her and she was such a small, tiny lady. Or am I wrong? Or he is tall. I know he is tall, but... Okay, let me see. Yes, and again, yes, yeah, she worked two days before she passed. Okay, let me see this one. Okay. <clears throat> uh, when I'm watching the comments, uh, they disappear. <laughs> yeah, you admired her, me too. <laughs> you can have one on the side. Freud Burlap doesn't mind. No, <laughs> I'm glad Freud Burlap doesn't mind. Ah, Ans, welcome, welcome. How are you? I heard you had COVID. Oh, I hope you're getting better soon. Two days. The workshop from Annette to do the glass. Oh, the comments are really late. Oh, you're not nervous, Annette. No, I thought you wouldn't. <laughs> Excited, yes, that's a correct word. Stencils, both the the younger picture, yeah, a pocket or a flip. That's good. Both pictures, oh yay! Smaller pictures. Oh, the kind of see one picture behind the flip. Oh, and I make it pull it out. Yes. Uh, okay, but I like her. I mean. Here she's so pretty, and this is. I think this is a good idea. Who who said? Who 
Push it, push it. Ah, oh, Marie Claire, of course, one picture behind the flag. I'm going to do that, Marie Claire. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be tight because there's not much room over here, but I think I should do that that way. Hmm. Let me think. I need, um, I need to glue the flag down. <laughs> That's what I'm going to start with. And I'm going to use the three millimeter tape because I need to have space to slide the other picture in and out. One in the left. Now I don't like that, I think, my line. Sorry. Like this. No, that's not me. I'm sorry. Yeah, both pictures. I want to do another one now. Haha, <laughs> Debbie. 167. Oh, she's really petite. Yes. Tiny. 163. Strong with age. Yes. <laughs> Five, two inch. Princess Anne, also is a really petite lady. Yeah, Christine, sorry, the dye, it's an old one. But I, I, before I found the dye this afternoon, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to uh, watch, watch the internet and just print a picture of uh, a Union Jack. And then I remembered suddenly I had this dye. So now I am trying to apply it <laughs> using some tape. Okay, and this needs to go there. I think I'm going to center this one. That looks pretty. And I hope, and otherwise, if it's too small, uh, I can always trim off the edges. What has to be done has to be done. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to glue this one down. And my comments keep disappearing, so I have to touch the screen every time. Lisa is going on a holiday. Okay. Ah, oh, Annette, thank you. It's still a fable. I've got it for many, many years. But yeah, it sounds logic that it's still a fable in the UK. Because it's uh, yeah, a must-have, I think. <laughs> okay, that's one. Now I'm also going to glue this one down. Now, on the other, I don't like this very much, but it's here, so I just have to deal with it. Or I have to cover it up with um, some L, L something else. Maybe this is more red. No, I'm leaving it uh, the way it is. Oh, no, I'm not. I maybe have this because it's red, white and blue. This might be better, don't you think? Hmm. Or I've got this one too. <laughs> There's stuff enough going on here, laying around here. Okay. No, I think I'm leaving it this way. This one can go two. Sylvia is also going on a holiday. That sounds really good, everyone. If you still have a holiday to go to. Pet, I remember seeing her. Did you meet her, Pet? Uh, Belinda, I see your comments. Maybe a little bit late, but <laughs> they're here. She died of a broken heart. Oh, yes. It was. I also felt so sorry for her when um, his funeral was. Uh, and she was sitting there all on her own. Let me see if I'm going to do this the right way. Not turning the page upside down or something okay let me see what i can do oh it's not really even over here the tape so i might as well just cover it up later on i'm moving it a little bit more to that side okay now you won't see it um yeah okay i'm good and this one is still open. Oh no, you see, this is what happens when you talk too much, Esther. Okay, I think I can save myself. <laughs> Do you hear it? <laughs> Do 
there's always going something really wrong doing a life okay just turning it around and i am good again nobody warned me <laughs> okay this is good and i think i like this too and i'm not going to put another mat behind because um yeah because not i like it this way yes i'm just gluing this one down and it doesn't have to be um, an over-the-top page, you know, it's just, a, how do you say it, a memorial page or oh no, a tribute, a little tribute of me to the Queen of England. Let me see, I have to put it a little bit closer because I want this to be a little bit in the middle, just eyeballing. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Well, I think it's pretty already. Uh, oh, there are many comments I've missed. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> oh, yes. yeah, too late. <laughs> Not that take that part. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Extra strip of tape. Yes, you are correct. But I think I'm fine. Or I can put a little strip of paper behind. Let me see how I am going to do this. Hmm. And the letters, of course. Oh, oh, and I also cut this these pieces. These are from. Uh, where is it? Let me see. From the window overlay set. You know the the set with the windows and all those tiny words. And you could you could put the tiny words like this. And there are a few mats in there too. So I was thinking, oh. This would be nice too. Huh? I can do two if I want. Oh. The photo is a bit shiny on screen. I'm sorry for that, but I hope you can see what I'm doing. This looks really nice. I think I'm going to do one. Yeah. I'm going to do one over here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use the numbers because they are quite big. Oh, maybe I can do those on top. Uh, 2022. Let me see if it fits. I have no idea. And when was it? 1926, I believe. Yes, 1926. 1926. They're all here. <laughs> no. It's going to be tight. I'm not sure if I... Oh, no, it's not working. I missed one. It's probably a little bit too much over here. 1926, 2022. Uh, I think it's not a... Can you see it? I have to distress those numbers, so... I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to glue this one down. Oh, there's tape on the back side already. Yeah. Now I need to make sure it's in the right corner, so it's nicely... It's cool, isn't it? And I actually think it doesn't need uh, that much anymore. Oh, guys, there are so many comments. Sorry, sorry. One year on top, one at the bottom. Yeah, that might be. But then I have to put it over here. And I think it's a little bit uh, a waste of the of the flag. So I'm going to distress them. And then it gives me some time to chat with you guys. But now I'm going to back to my frayed burlap again. Yeah, the numbers on top, Jona, do you think? Yes, it is. I have no idea what you are talking about, my <laughs> mother name. Oh, thanks so much, Else. So, and I forgot to uh, put double-sided tape in the back of the numbers because I was doing this really quickly <laughs> just before we started. I, I was looking for the right size of numbers. But if you don't distress them, then you will hardly see them. So they need a little bit of ink on the edges.
Yeah, King Charles. That sounds funny, don't you think? King Charles. 1926. Forgive me, but this takes a little bit time to, to do. But I'm sure King Charles will be doing fine. Oh, that's also possible, uh, Maya Line, 2022 with the other picture. Yeah, and then slide it out. That might be fun too. Let me see. I, I will put them back on the top of the page um, when they all have the distressed edge. So then I can see it a little bit better than, um, than without the ink. Yeah, now you have to get used to King Charles. Well, it was the same over here in Holland when we have to use uh, when uh, Queen Beatrix stopped. <laughs> she retired and then her son uh, had to do it. So it's King uh, Willem Alexander. That also sounds strange. And I'm still confused with Queen's Day, King's Day, the date. Okay, the last one, inky fingers, but who cares, I'm going to put them back. You cannot see them really well, but I think it's also subtle, that's also not bad. And I'm going to lay it down and then I'm watching the screen, so uh, it's always a, a few seconds uh, delay but I think it looks really um, um, struck <laughs> tight no tight is a strange word um, no, clean and simple <laughs> simple but I mean I, I think it's a pretty page already not too many things going around and uh, yeah I think I'm going to leave it this way I'm going to glue this down and then I need to figure out something to put uh, the other picture behind here and hopefully it will shall I do that first hmm. decisions decisions let me see 2022 I'm going to overlap the numbers a little bit so it's a little bit more um, clear that there are two uh, <laughs> two different um, years or shall I glue them like this it's also fun what do you think should I make two separate years or should I just um, put them all in a row behind each other now that's already a bit stupid don't you think King Charles Cavalier modern yes that's it Hans thank you <laughs> yeah no no more distractions from the picture okay love the numbers yeah okay Leave it this way, okay. And I'm going to make uh, two separate lines or two si two, s bloop, <laughs> two separate ones. Yes, I need to make a dash. Oh, I can cut out from one of the leftovers. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I will start gluing very carefully, not to spoil any uh, glue on the picture. I need my tweezers. Okay, here we go, number one. Make sure it's a little bit straight. 19, 20. I want um, them to be a little bit um, overlapping each other, but not like this on a row. You see, I don't like that. So uh, for now, I'm go going to glue down the two first and then I'm going to put the nine on top of them. On top of it, sorry. I'm trying to see if this works. <laughs> yeah, in a row, make people think, that's correct. <laughs> so I'm going just to put it a little bit under the number nine, it's under the nine. And here is my two. And then I need to do the nine, no, <laughs> not gluing it upside down, of course. <laughs> there, it almost happens. 1926, what a year. 
okay and then this one I can do on top of the two also or I can put it beside the two over there hmm yeah I'm going to leave it this way and I'm going to glue this one maybe I should have put them a little bit more um, space in between but I need some space for a dash so that's why I do it and then I'm going to start with this two first in the end so hopefully it will um, divide a little bit um, better this way so starting with the last one trying to line it up so they're on at the same height as the as the number one and the nine uh, 2022 so here we go yeah I'm good 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 I'm going to overlap this too so I'm going to glue down the zero first let me see it should be somewhere here and then this one can go on top so it's just playing around with the numbers a little bit Oh, here we go. 2022. Yes, you're correct. If if I would have done black numbers, um, for example, it would distract too much from uh, the picture. Uh, I am going to put this one a little bit more to the left. Okay. I'm good with this. Now I think I have got some leftover pieces here. You see, here's an extra one. And I am going to use that as a dash, a little piece of it, a little part. Uh, scissors, where are you? Let me see, something like this. Maybe it's a little bit too big. I'm trimming a little bit off. Okay. Ah, Rick, good to see you too. Are you feeling any better yet? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to glue this one over there. Okay, and now let me see if I can do something with this picture. Um, do, you, do you hear me thinking? <laughs> and week 36, I'm going to move this one to the next page. So this one will be going here. And I also need to do some reinforces, of course. What time is it? I've got five minutes or so to make something up with this one. Uh, I think I need a card or a tag to glue it on. Let me see if I've got something standing here. Oh, this one is too big. Yeah, can I make it smaller? Yes, I can, but it's not pretty. It's not pretty. No. She doesn't want to go on a repair ticket, does she? <laughs> uh, let me see what else have I got. I mean, it's only for the tech, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Uh, oh, I can do this. Yeah, 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 because this one comes out. It just covers up the, the year. What do you think? I think I'm going to use it anyway. I can write her name or something down here. And I'm going to trim off the white edges now because it's a little bit prettier uh, size-wise to go on the tag <coughs> if I trim it off. I had a hard time choosing some pictures because there were many beautiful pictures of the Queen on the internet. But in the end I took the black and white ones. I am going to make a hole here. This one is going here. Now this is perfect because it covers up the flowers and this gives me some uh, space 
uh, to write down something. I will do that later because uh, I have to uh, maybe her uh, full name and her the date of her birth and things like that. So this should be go in here. Maybe it's very nice to put an eyelet and I've got those stamps which is saying pull here and there's also a little thingy which goes uh, together with that but where is it? I have no idea. I'm going to use a reinforcer, a black one and I need a small one. Oh, where are you? A set with a dash in it. No, I don't need a dash. Do you need a dash? I mean, you can make a dash with every piece of paper, of course. But if you want a dash, maybe I can do one in the future. Okay, this looks much better. I need to distress it first. Okay, here's my third bird up again. <laughs> lady on top of it what do you think she would think if she knew she was uh, <laughs> going to be um, documented in so many journals probably nothing because she has been documented all of her life <laughs> I'm putting down some extra pieces of tape because I don't know what will happen uh, happen when you pull it out over and over again. I mean, it's not that I'm pulling out those pictures all day, every day, but it needs to be a little bit sturdy when someone wants to see it. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> oh, are they leaving now with the coffee? I will watch later. Let me see. Oh, it's a little bit off center. Oh, can I save this? Yes, probably a little bit more to the left. Okay, I am done. Sliding it in. Yeah, I think I will leave it this way. And I am maybe going to make something attach something here oh some twine yes of course where's my twine and uh, let me see i have to pick up some twine let me see this one okay no the black and white is too much so i think i'm going to keep it simple If there's a little piece of twine popping out, then you know what <clears throat> that there's something behind, I guess. I think I would think that a little maybe the twine is too long, I will take something off. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can trim something off. Oh, let me see. <laughs> One at a time. Okay, I think I'm done for now. I'm going to put it a little bit closer to the camera, but I think you can see it anyway. And I like the dates over here too. I mean, it's very subtle, but it's there. Uh, and I think uh, I'm going to write down her name and details. Or the word queen. Oh, maybe I can do something here with queen. That would be nice too. But I need to find my smaller uh, letters, my smaller alphabet. Okay, so that was it for today. 
uh, lovely ladies, guys, whoever is watching. Um, yeah, I, I will be back next Monday. And in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed or registered uh, for uh, Annette's class on October 15 in a special Facebook group, please check out your local retailer. Um, start playing with stencils and try to emboss them. And if you have missed the beginning, just watch this video again and you can see everything I have been doing today. Okay, um, well, wishing you a, a very good day, if, wherever you are. I mean, in the US, uh, it's daytime. Over here, it's dark already. Uh, so all of you lovely people, have a nice day or have a nice evening. And I hope to see you again uh, next week on Monday again. Okay, bye bye.